Jake Malone tries to pick it up the cooler wing back he leaves it off now for Sean Moran Sean Moran running along his own 45 stick pass along the ground up to the 65 and a shot from David Tracy a long ranger into the golf course end and that's exactly what we spoke about before this game how dangerous Kula are from every area of the park and David Tracy just showed that with a wonderful long ranger Paul Shute is under that one doesn't catch it cleanly and Lucan try and get in there and sweep it up through Kevin O'Reilly Kevin O'Reilly kicks it but Oshin Goff runs onto it, facing his own goal, handles it twice, free into Lucan just outside the 45. Kevin O'Reilly with the free, wearing the blue boots, bending, lifting, striking, having the shot. That is a perfect strike from O'Reilly, and they are finally off the mark. Paul Crummies took that ball out of the crowd, goes to ground, wins his free in just outside the D mid of the pitch, and it should be an easy score for Lucan Sarge, who really grown into the match. Kevin O'Reilly, the last one he struck from a very awkward position. This one, well, pretty much any of the players out there could put it over, I reckon. This one just outside the D, middle of the park, into the church end. Kevin O'Reilly zips it home. Joe Byrne is blocked down, and it comes to Tracy, who roll lifts it, gives it off to Colm Cronin, who has a shot which might drop in towards the square. It's batted by the keeper. It's taken by Shute. Back to goal. Keeper following him, full back following him. High challenge from Barry Aird, and a free into Kula who trailed by two points to one, but you can expect that uh, now to move to two all. 18 minutes and 23 seconds gone. David Tracy with the free just outside that 20 metre line. David Tracy. No problem this time around for David Tracy. His first score from a free in the game and it's two points apiece. David will land just inside the 65 where it's won by Kean Waldron. Kean Waldron ball and stick. No real space to operate in. So Waldron just kind of hits it rather blindly and it's cut out by Rob Lambert. Lambert, messy ball, intercepted by Colm Cronin. Colm Cronin tries to pick it up, leaves it off now to Sean Tracy who's in the D. Sean Tracy is fouled, hand on the back, in the D, straight in front of goal, free to Kula. This will put Kula back in front. They were leading one point to no score, then trailed two points to one. Two all now, 3-2. Jarrow O'Connell lobs it down towards the corner forward position. Coming out to meet it there was Sean Tracy. Guides it into the path of Nicky Kenny who has a strike from the 45. Nicky Kenny hitting it over the bar. Sean Moore steps back into space. Looks across the park. Plays a diagonal. Corner forward trying to get there. He can't. That was Sean Tracy. But it's won brilliantly by David Tracy. David Tracy inside looking for Nicky Kenny. Wouldn't fall to Nicky Kenny. Falls to Cronin who pulls on it and pulls it wide. And it's a fifth wide. And it's four points to two still, but it could have been more. But the referee, is he playing advantage there, or was he playing advantage? Yeah, he's staying free in. Four outfielders on the line, as well as the goalkeeper. He'll put this one over, probably. But a lot of me wants him to go for it. David Tracy, bending, lifting and striking. Playing the percentage, just tapping it over. Fourth point for him. Kula, five points. Luke and Sars, two points. Forward of Kula, up to the 65. Loose hand pass, but he does find his target. That target is Aiden Roach. Aiden Roach... Two men around him. Kula looks so fit. Ball passed off to Chris Crummy, who was running on an overlap. Gets his shot away from just inside the Kula half. Chris Crummy going for it. Chris Crummy getting it. Anyway, the ball is pucked out. Won brilliantly. Caught brilliantly by Kean Waldron. Kean Waldron hits it down, but the back is out in front. He's let it slip under. He's hurling. Picking it up as Mark Shute outside the square. He's got a man running off him. And Tracy, Shute gets the shot away. But the referee says he was fouled. And it's a free in. They should have got a goal out of that. Tracy, bending, lifting, striking, resists the urge to go for a goal. Taps it over for his uh, fourth free of the first half. He's fifth altogether. He got one from play. Kula, six. Luke and Sars, three. A minute and a half into injury time at the end of the first half. Does he have the room for the strike? No, he doesn't. He was blocked down by Crummy, but it comes into the path of uh, Cronin, who moves it outside for midfielder Darrow O'Connell. Darrow O'Connell is tackled high, and it's a free in just outside the 20-meter line on the right-hand side. David Tracy puts it over. That's his first point of the second half. It's from a free. Play restarts. Ball scrambles over for Jake Malone. Jake Malone. Couldn't quite take it, but John Sheenan can. John Sheenan's done really well today. John Sheenan hits it down towards the 45, and it's guided into the path of Mark Schutte. Schutte gets in between two. Ball on stick. He's got a man out wide in the shape of Tracy, but he gives it inside instead to Darrell O'Connell, who zips it over. I wonder, was he thinking about a goal? Maybe so, but he's got the point at the very least, and that's Darrell O'Connell's first of the game. And Kula stretch out their lead, and it's Kula eight points. Lucan Sars three points. 
Kevin Fitzgerald with men around him goes with a short hand pass finds his man bit of space for Paul Crummy to run at gets up to the D Crummy looks to get Lucan's first score in the second half and he has that's a really good strike by Paul Crummy and it's 4 points Lucan Sars 8 points Kula now it's Jake Malone who plays it on the ground and it's a free in to Lucan straight in front of the post well slightly to the right of them just outside the 45 Kevin O'Reilly absolutely nails it and he needed that having missed the last one Lucan 5 points Kula 8 points 20 minutes to go Lucan Sars hit it long after winning the second ball with two Kula players up against one Lucan player and well against the odds the Lucan player won it initially then lost it now picking it up is John Sheehan looks to me like he's overcarried and it's a cheap free one and Sheehan is uh, not particularly happy Kevin O'Reilly in the blue boots stepping up to take this free just inside the 45 to the left of centre facing the golf course end zippy strike by O'Reilly and over it goes his second of the second half and now the cap is two five Oshin Goff wins it comes forward tries to hit it he's partially hooked into the path of Nicky Kenny and a wild strike there he gives it free to Kula just outside the 45 on the right hand side and there was no real need for it this one to put Kula three up which is a chasm in a kind of tight game like this good score by David Tracy much needed ball goes down the wing breaking ball in the middle won brilliantly by Kula's Trevor Lee or Lucas Trevor Lee I beg your pardon now it's Chris Crummy coming down the wing Chris Crummy looks to move it off if he can to a fellow green jersey and does the shot coming from just outside the 45 it's from a very tight corner if that goes over it's a wonder score it has gone over but Kevin Fitzgerald gets the shot away from just outside the 45 he's going to drop inside the square Peter Kelly almost got onto it but he was held up brilliantly by Keanu O'Callaghan in something of a battle of the Giants Mark Schutte trying to kick the ball into space after it went loose Conor Callaghan leans in to try and get it Conor Callaghan I thought had got it no he hasn't now it's Matt McCaffrey who runs into a frontal charge but the referee says it's okay he's on his own 45 gets the hand pass away he's thrown it and it's a free in you know what you see guys getting away with that the whole time but the referee was two or three metres away so I guess there was no getting away with that but it's a free to Kula on the 45 slightly to the left and this would put them three in front with four remaining pass finds its way to David Tracy stuck to him is John Bellew gets his pass away flicked up to Sean Moran who's between the 65's Sean Moran to put four between the teams a long ranger Sean Moran puts it over that could be the winning of the game ball and stick up towards the 45 between the 65's hits it across the park trying to get under that one is Mark Schutte Mark Schutte couldn't take it he got his hand on it but it just would not stick and Lucan have it back this is not where Lucan need to have the ball they need to get it up the park they've lost it it's Con O'Callaghan Con O'Callaghan just outside the 20 metre line slots it over he's made a big impact since coming on he's a big presence Sean Moran plays it long down towards the 45 into the path of O'Callaghan again O'Callaghan ball and stick trying to get past the fullback goes to ground inside the D wins the free inside the D right in front of goal David Tracy over it goes 4-3 of the second half for him Kula win it back to their centre back Paul Schutte and the referee says there is time for no more and Kula march on to the final where they'll meet Kilmacud Crokes the final score in a tight semi 13 points to 7 um, I think they brought a great intensity to it we knew they would um, they're a big physical team um, and they, they are certainly very good at the back they make it very hard for you to, to play and, and I suppose we found it hard to break them down at times and, but we knew if we kept going and we kept plugging away that we'd, uh, we'd get the scores that would that it'd see us through How's in the that? end yeah, I suppose it's always going to be harder. I mean, every team that you're coming to champions, teams are going to look to, to knock you. And I suppose you have to up your game and you have to keep on looking for new ways to improve. And that's what we're looking to do. And yeah. hopefully you now for the next two weeks, we can knuckle down again and find those little improvements that will uh, help us along the way.